Hey guys, there's quite a number of care homes and care agencies in the UK that recently lost their license to issue out certificate of sponsorship and many people who work with these organizations and who are still currently on the visa they got from the COS provided by that, those care homes are currently facing the risk of deportation and leaving the country. And it's very important that if you're planning to apply for a, um, uh, an healthcare visa or you know someone who's planning to apply for an healthcare visa or you're currently on an healthcare visa and you really want to be sure if your um, employer is fit to sponsor your visa, they may want to watch this video till the end. And if you're coming across my channel for the first time, please smash the like button and also click on the red subscribe button below. My channel subscribers, thank you guys for being here. You guys are amazing. I really do appreciate you guys. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Before I get right into the video, if you're planning to move abroad to UK, to Canada, to Australia, or to many of the developed countries, and you need an English proficiency test or results to prove your level of English proficiency, then you may want to check out the iHealth um, study package I've created that has really helped a lot of people to, you know, um, have 8.0 band score across all the different tests for the IELTS exam. So if it's something that will interest you, click on the link on my bio. I'm gonna put the link up there so you can click on it and purchase your own IELTS study package. Trust me, you're gonna get nothing less than 8.0, um, you know, uh, overall band for your listening, reading, writing, and speaking. So just smash the like button. And you also, if you have any question or you have any confusion as regards um, you know, your location into the UK or you're currently in the UK, trying to get answers to some questions as regards getting a job, as a professional data analyst job, cyber security, and many others, then you want to click on the link in the description of this video where you can have a one-to-one -one chat with me that we can share to a phone conversation where I get to answer all your questions that you can state in the comment section. So if, if this is something you would like to do, go down to the description of the video and click on the link to have a chat. See you soon. The health and care visa is one of the easiest, not easiest per se, but one of the most straightforward way of relocating into the UK. And, you know, because of how um, straightforward this process is, many people tend to abuse it. And the truth is, the UK government, the Home Office, they are aware of some of those things. You know, I, I told people that in the UK, you can't hide anything. They've got data, they've got a way of tracking activities. So many of these things they know, sometimes they turn blind eyes to them. Sometimes they take, you know, very strict measures when it's, uh, you know, getting to the extreme. And the truth is getting an healthcare visa in the UK, all you need is just to get a care home or a care agency that has been licensed by the home office. Um, every of those employers, they've got like a process they need to go through some conditions they need to meet before they can be officially recognized by the UK Home Office as a licensed sponsor. Now, um, many of those organizations have a way of, you know, making sure they meet those conditions and eventually get certificate of sponsorship um, license to be able to, you know, get candidates in and outside the UK. Many of them need to prove why they need to, you know, bring in people from overseas to the UK to work. Um, why can't they get the same manpower from the population already in the UK? So they have a way of, you know, getting answers to, you know, meeting up these conditions to be able to get the license to sponsor. Now, many care homes, many care agencies now have sponsors. And the major challenge with this now is the fact that many of those um, sponsors don't go through the right channel towards getting their license. And some go through the right channel, but along the line, they fail to meet the requirements for them to maintain the license because getting a license to sponsor um, you know um, your employee in the UK doesn't end when you get the license the certain requirement you need to maintain in order to be able to you know retain your um, license to sponsor so now the situation now is that many care homes are now losing their license to sponsor individuals not necessarily losing their license to practice as a care home or as a care agency but many of them are losing their license to be able to bring in people and you know act as a sponsor to individuals and the moment your care home or your care agency you work with loses their license it affects everyone on a visa issued by that particular care home now i've been hearing quite a lot of news you know uh, i said the conversation with a friend a couple of weeks ago 
and he shared with me how his friend's care home lost their license and the guy has been told to leave the UK um, very soon. So sometimes I, 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 I get to hear those things and sometimes I feel they are made up. Sometimes I get to have this doubt that, oh, it's, it's not true. Now, until I saw a trajectory or um, should I say, a recurrence of this activity. Now, there's this particular person who, you know, um, got to work with a particular care agency and this care agency has like um what's the word now has like an arrangement or um a, a a business contract with the council of the environment whereby it gets to provide caregivers to the vulnerable the old and people that will require care and get paid along the line obviously you also get to pay his employee now only if after couple of you know months on this visa the person already got the cos applied for the um uh, health and care work visa you know was already working making money sorting his bills and only for him to get notified by the uk home office that the sponsor's license has been revoked and he has i think about five to six months to leave the united kingdom if he doesn't get another sponsor and this is really a very sad thing because the moment you get such an email, uh, one of the things that you get affected with is that you can't work. You won't be able to take up any job because you don't have a license. You don't have um, a sponsor. So your sponsor can, you know, provide job for you. And it gets really messy and, you know, frustrating. So this particular, um, that's why I tell people, if you're going to pay, just imagine after paying over £9,000 to get your certificate of sponsorship and within three months, you lost the security sponsorship, you lost the money because obviously your employer is not going to give you back the £9,000 you paid for the COS. Um, you lost sponsorship, you lost the COS and you are at the risk of being deported out of the country. It's really, really frustrating. In such a situation, now, he doesn't have enough money because he has spent practically all his entire savings on getting the COS and is out of job because no other employer is going to employ you without um, a valid visa in the United Kingdom and all he's trying to do now is to get a job you know that would act as his new sponsor because the current sponsor can't do the same and it's really really sad because this is the reality of many people and other people if you're planning to move into the UK on a health and care visa please ensure you do your due diligence ensure you properly go through the contract you're signing now aside from the fact that you know some employ uh, some employers are losing their license many people who are coming to the uk on the health and care visa are not getting job they're not getting paid the way they should because ideally that's why I, 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 I i'm not trying to you know um make it look bad or i'm trying to paint you know uh, care homes owned by africans bad but many of these situations are being linked to care homes or care agency owned by Africans in the UK. So guys, ensure you do your due diligence, ensure you at least have one or two people who currently work with an employer and ask questions on how the shift pattern is, how you know how the whole organization is, are they getting work, are they being paid appropriately, is everything going according to the way it should. So you need to ask many of those questions so you don't pay each sum of money to get your certificate of sponsorship and at the end of the day, you're still not getting job you're not getting you're not getting paid so that's very very important the contract make sure you go through it and make sure you have someone at least one or two people currently working with that you know um, employer so if you have the same experience or you know someone who has the same experience please share in the comment section so people can learn you know um, that it's not all about getting a serious from an health uh, related employer you need to be sure that this particular employer is following the rule it's not you know going through corners because the moment such employer is found by the UK home office, then they tend to lose their own um, their license, which in turn affects you as an employee who is currently on the um, health and care visa. So if you know anyone who is experiencing this, please share your experience in the comment section. This will definitely help someone. And if you find this video resourceful, please click on the like button. If you're coming across my channel for the first time, please hit the subscribe button to join the amazing growing family. My turning subscribers. You guys are amazing. Thank you for being here. I really do appreciate you guys. So this will be the end of this video. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you.